Come in. Hi, Cara. Sorry, look, I'm going to need all these invoices and reports on my desk by 9 a.m. in the morning. Thanks for that. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. Come in. Hi, Cara. Um, I have these reports that have to be done by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, but, um... Kate said that you can do them because you're going to be here late. Is that okay? She said that. Thank um, you. Sorry, I've got to go to the movies and team. Have a good night. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, Cara, 9am. Don't forget, alright? Bye. Oh, hey. Yeah, sorry, I can't go out tonight. Yeah, I have to work late. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. When stress strikes you at work and you're under pressure, it's hard to know what to do. One way is to throw your toys out of the cot. But many Kiwis prefer the keep calm and soldier on approach, believing they can cope, fearing they'll be labelled incapable. We're afraid to be wrong, to not know something, or to be seen as emotional. Weakness is stigmatised by organisations. They're built on obsession with deliverables, timeframes and quality. Expectations on staff are high and support from management or peers is often low. Workplace stress is defined as the adverse reaction people have to excessive pressure or other types of demand placed on them at work. It is a commonplace and costly problem in the workplace. One in five of all employed people in New Zealand always or often feel stressed at work with evidence suggesting that stress is a major driver of turnover and disengagement in organisations. There are a spectrum of reasons for this. Overload or underload of quantity of work, the quality of work is too difficult or not engaging, failing to use workers' skills, abilities and passions. The expectations on people to work longer and be connected outside of work hours are growing with the rise in technology. Work-related stress has become normalised. It is the way things are. Symptoms are missed and discounted. It's not salient nor visible. This is a personal issue. Chances are you will experience workplace stress and it has major implications for organisations and management. A degree of reasonable stress is acceptable, but unchecked over time, it is a major problem and manifests itself in four key ways. Stress impacts productivity and drives staff turnover. Employees are more concerned with financial security than true job satisfaction. Obvious signs are increased absence, a drop in performance, a change in outward behaviour or fractured relationships. Stress has a psychological impact including addiction, anxiety, feeling drained and depressed and feeling fearful. Stress has been linked to disease and burnout. Staff are not working to their full potential and their work-life balance has been impacted. The signs of stress need to be understood, acknowledged and addressed constructively. There are several ways this can be done. Ensuring that workloads are in line with workers' strengths, capabilities and passions. This is about designing jobs to provide meaning and opportunities to engage in their work. Encouraging a culture of trust and open communication where downtime and creative thinking are valued. Encouraging work-life balance through family-friendly benefits and policies. This is about learning to unplug and recover. Initiatives to improve performance need to go hand in hand with improving well-being and unlocking staff creativity. Staff which are relaxed and focused are more productive than those burning out with deadlines and demanding expectations. With a change in mindset, stress will become an approachable issue, not stigmatised. <laughs>